Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 5, and let's go all the way from 12 through verse 16 and read that. Now it happened when he was in a certain city that, behold, a man who was full of leprosy saw Jesus, and he fell on his face and implored him, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Then he put out his hand and touched him, saying, I am willing, be cleansed. Immediately the leprosy left him, and he charged him to tell no one, but go and show yourself to the priest and make an offering for your cleansing as a testimony to them, just as Moses commanded. However, the report went around concerning him all the more, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. So he himself often withdrew into the wilderness and prayed. Here we have another case. This one's a leper. Lepers kind of kept always on the fringes and the edges. In fact, they had to pronounce before wherever they, where they went. They had to say, uh, I'm a leper, you know, leprosy. They had to call out and everybody kind of wanted to keep away from them, didn't want them in their neighborhood. But here's one that Jesus and they cross path and he has enough trust in Jesus. He's heard enough by now to know that it, Jesus can heal all these things. He can cast out demons. Well, could Jesus even heal me of leprosy? And so he's, he, he, he's daring. He goes ahead. He tries it out. Lord, he says, if you're willing, you can make me clean. And he was right. He was right. And Jesus, what does Jesus say? Well, no, I'm going to have to stop and think about that. I haven't thought about this before. Uh, this is going to have political implications, big problems. Eh, no. Jesus, immediately, without waiting, immediately, it says, Jesus' response, I am willing be clean. Jesus immediately cleanses this person. No waiting. Jesus knows his mission. Jesus knows his mission, and he's, boom, he's straight on it all the time. And so, notice what it says here. He put out his hand and touched him. By the way, you can't touch a leper. You can't touch a leper. You can't do that. You're unclean till evening if you do that. Jesus touches this leper, and he receives no condemnation. He receives no uncleanness, and the leprosy leaves this guy. Yeah, go ahead, go follow, follow the process, go through the process with the church, go and show yourself to the priest so they can mark you as cleansed. But uh, the word goes around, and people want to be healed, and now they understand we can be healed from even leprosy. I mean, there's nothing beyond Jesus. We're going to find out there is nothing beyond Jesus' abilities. But verse 16 is interesting. So he himself often withdrew into the wilderness and prayed, Jesus in order to keep fresh, to keep close to the Father, with all these people coming at him all over the place all the time, Jesus many times had to withdraw into a private situation and pray silently to pray, to pray alone to the Father. You and I, to keep our spiritual walk, we will sometimes have to go into, and many times perhaps, have to have some privacy. In a time when everything, our phones and everything are beeping at us, we need to set things aside and draw close to him. Let's pray to him right now. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus is so willing even to heal the leper. Oh Lord, be our healer, be our helper. Help us to prioritize and understand that one of the key priorities to having a spiritual walk with you is to go aside into a quiet place and time for prayer, even when we're super busy, more than than any other time. Oh Lord, be our helper. Thank you for this insight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, may God be your helper, and may you, when you are, I have all kinds of stuff happening, don't neglect secret prayer with the Creator as He recreates your heart. You'll need it every day. I need it every day. God bless you today.